Hi YouTube. Um, it's like almost midnight on Sunday and um, I normally wouldn't do a video this late but I have a question about something and hopefully you guys can help me out. Just, um, I'm supposed to ovulate like in the next five days or so um, and I haven't had a confirmed ovulation with my uh, chart yet. Um, I haven't had a temperature shift or anything but I'm thinking it's going to happen like Wednesday or Thursday at the latest. But basically what's going on is um, Derek just left for out of town tonight and he won't be back for a week. So, you know, we tried over the weekend, but um, kind of trying to figure out if I should even get my hopes up because, you know, if, if it's just not possible this month, that's fine. I'll just go on my life and I just try again next month. But, um... I don't know, I have these ovulation tests, I bought the first response ones, um, I normally wouldn't buy, like, this expensive of a brand, I'd just, like, do the online strips, but, um, they were, like, eleven fifty for a 20-pack at Walgreens on clearance, um, I think maybe because you have to, or they say, since it's just in one big pouch, you, like, have to use them all in one cycle, and there's just no way that I'm gonna be able to do that, um, but anyways, I thought that was a really good deal, and I figured, why the heck not? Because it's supposed to be a better brand. But I'm actually a little disappointed because these ones are hard to read. The test line is not solid. It's, like, thick on one side and... Or, and not thick. It's dark on one side and light on the other. So, I don't know what to go by. I don't know if... Because it said, don't go by the thickness of the line. It said by the darkness of the line. But the line's darker on one half than it is on the other. So, I was wondering if you guys... If I show you my test that I just took, like, 20 minutes ago, um, I want to show you it within the, I have, like, an hour, I guess, before, um, I'm supposed to discount the results. So, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Can you, oh, God, that's blurry. Maybe I'll just put a picture on, but, um, well, yeah, it's not going to happen. See, this is the test line, that's the control line? I don't know what it's called. This is the one that's supposed to be dark, as dark as this one or darker. And honest to god, you probably, that's too blurry. But you know, if this is positive, that means we have a pretty good shot this, uh, this cycle, and that would, you know, put me, hold on a second, somebody's eating something. Hey, come here. Hey, what are you crunching on? Bella, eating, come here. Who is it? Okay, whatever. I thought the dogs were, like, eating a hanger. Anyways, um, I'll just put pictures up, because I know that was really blurry, and I'm just, let me know what you think, and if you've had any experiences with the first response um, ovulation tests before. Because um, I've taken the Walgreens ones before, like the generic brand, and the, like, those were so much easier. I just don't get why this is being stupid. Anyway, um, yeah, just let me know what you think, and be honest, because I don't want to get my hopes up if there's no reason to. Anyways, that's all for now. Bye, guys.